I'm here at the louver shop and we just finished up building one of our louver kits for one of our dealers here. Um, this is what it's going to look like when we ship it to you. All we got to do is just throw on the top on and we're good to go. Okay, so the boys have peeled off uh, the covering on our crate here today um, and uh, we pulled out the drawings. Um, they will come in every kit. This is, uh, that's kind of the architectural of what we're doing today. It, this, this drawing here gives you the general dimensions of the drawing as well as like uh, a few uh, important details to help you kind of uh, understand what you're doing. Okay, so we're gonna start sealing up our um, all of our gutters and, and joints here, and we're at one of the corners on our mid-span beam. Uh, the first thing I like to do is just make sure that everything is clean and dry. Third one is for the key. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna line up the drive adapter, and your motor should slide in nice and easy. Okay, so we've got everything wrapped up here. Um, just to kind of give you guys a heads up for some of the things we did on this project. Um, we decided for drainage that we wanted to drain everything onto the roof over there. My name is Devin. We are here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, where we manufacture all of our motorized power screens. Um, I'm here today to kind of show you our facility, how we make our screens, and what makes them a little bit different. Like we were able to keep the screens down and still enjoy being outside without having the wind destroy the party and moving it inside, which we've had to do before in the past. It's worth all the money. invested in machinery to help us manufacture these screens because we want to do it with the highest level of precision. The machine behind me is our automated CNC cut table that actually cuts the mesh to size. So this machine pulls the mesh out onto the table. The mesh is actually suctioned down to the table so that it doesn't pucker or wrinkle as it is cut. And then the machine has a blade that cuts the mesh to the perfect size for every single project. It's a hot product when people get their eyes on it, so we're seeing a demand and a need for it. Um, as we start doing more marketing and getting out there into the market a little bit more, we're seeing more people wanting it, more leads coming in. I think the quality of Suncoast is second to none, so putting you know up against any other competitor in the market, um, I just see us growing quite a bit and continuing to move forward with our partnership and, and uh, continuing to put in a lot of screens in front of us. Well, 
all the Gaposa motors are built in with triple obstacle detection, which helps the screens lower, um, you know, obviously sensing objects if they're in the way, but also helps them lower in wind and extreme weather. So as the screen is lowering, um, if it has a wind gust or if something kind of inhibits it from lowering, like the wind hits it, it'll stop and roll itself back up. Um, and this stops the screen from back rolling on itself and it'll keep doing this, um, rolling itself back up and coming down until it sits all the way on the, on the ground. Ah! 